Yes, I, I'm aware that every single YouTuber, even the mainstream YouTubers, have talked about this. I wanted to talk about this scenario as well, even before it became mainstream media. But now, because of mainstream YouTubers like Moist Critical and even like the fucking tabloids are talking about this, I feel like I need to put my input into this situation. Well, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I spotted several big mistakes. But, but, but how, how did, how, how you did... Know what? Let's watch my favorite part again. Shall we? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my freaking god! Oh my god, are they okay? So last week, a filmer from Nebraska, commonly known as Capital City Rail Productions, was being investigated by BNSF police for allegedly tampering with a switch, derailing a train, recording it, and uploading it onto YouTube in an effort to get his 15 minutes of fame. Since his upload two months ago, at the time of his recording, his video is around 650,000 views, so clearly he is now enjoying that newfound fame. I sure hope he did enjoy it, because he's going to regret this when BNSF throws a look at him. Not only did this kid was caught throwing a switch via CCTV, but he also told the cops at the crime scene, well obviously, the switch was tampered with, which is a stupid thing to say to someone when you're obviously not tampering with switches. Not only did he cost thousands of dollars in damages, but he could have put himself, the crew of the train, and his community all in danger, all because of his reckless, idiotic behavior. Now, this isn't the first time a foamer has been caught messing with burner infrastructure in the past. In 2022, we had this whole Sebastian Young situation, but in this case, Sebastian at least had some good intentions and meant no harm. Well, Mr. Clout Chaser here did for the views, and has no care in the world for others but himself and his views. Now, because of all this media attention, you know, we I gotta say something about this. As rail fans, we are not him. We are not like him. We do not go out and tamper with switches. We do not steal trains for fun. No, we just like watching trains because trains are cool. You know, trains are big. They're cool. They have so many different colors. You know, we like the history of it. We just like how cool they look. We like, you know, how pretty the scenery is. There's many ways of why we like watching trains. You know... And this kid here now has shown the rest of the world that now rail fans are just are now just domestic terrorists who who like to mess around with rural property and cause all sorts of crazy derailments now. You know. And to Capital City Rail Productions, if you're somehow watching this, I don't know, maybe you're watching this from the jail tablet from the jail commuter. Or you got out on bail. I don't know. And I don't care. I got some legal advice for you. And maybe some, you know... Maybe next time when you're out of jail and you start a new career. Because I'm pretty sure that the rail fan community will never accept you back. I got some legal advice for you. You know what it is? STOP BREAKING THE LAW, ASSHOLE!